trying to find where they are at right now. It's like, this place is so huge. So let me go around and find wherever they're at. I just finished up, went amazing. A smooth in and out, I'm walking up these stairs, out of breath. I always forget to get like behind the scenes of me shooting. I just be in the moment, but yeah, I think we got some good shots. That squirrel's going to town on that acorn. Uh, but yeah, now I'm gonna head back. I do need to get some food. Oh, oh, I'm out of breath. So happy they had Orchana. I love Orchana. I'm just gonna spill everywhere. Wow. Cardboard straws. I know we're trying to save the planet, but they're just not it. Mmm. Mmm. So this place, Rico Rico, is all vegan. So I feel like Mexican food and like Thai food and stuff is like really easy to make vegan. So a lot of times if I'm like go into a, a Mexican or if I'm like craving Mexican spot or Thai I don't like search vegan Mexican or vegan Thai because no matter where I go they're gonna have like options that I could like make it vegan this was like literally two three minutes away from the park that I just came from so I was like oh let me check it out and it was like highly rated well, I'll tell you how I like the uh, the food so far the sorchata is hidden so I'm thinking since I'm by, like I'm in the Lakeshore area, I'm gonna just go over to Lake Merritt and kind of walk around and I can just like have myself a little solo picnic over there and eat over there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to take some um, pictures while I'm out because I have this film camera that I brought. Just like a cool little point and shoot, cheap, got on Amazon. Yeah, let's head over there to the park or to the lake. Probably the best vegan quesadilla that I've had. I'm not even finna play with them. Cause why is it so good? Like the seasonings of the chicken, the grilling, the texture, the freshness together, including the horchata and stuff. It came out to like $21, I think. But I mean, it's pretty standard, decent sizes. But this stuff is good. I've tried my fair share of vegan quesadillas and tacos and stuff. This has got to be top. So this is Lake Merritt. We're just walking around the lake a little bit. I only got like 30 minutes. I only put 30 minutes on the little time thing. So I'm not gonna walk around long, but fun fact, I had a date over here before and we literally just like came from a hike and then came and sat down and ate food over here by the lake. It was actually really nice. So nice date idea if you are in the Bay Area and it's free, just pay for parking. The water is definitely disgusting. Are you making a 
a time lapse? Sort of, kind of. Nice <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's always an interesting time. Okay, we're back in the car. I can't wait to finish the rest of that quesadilla, y'all, because it was so good and I have so much left over, thankfully. Always something going on over here. Like, it's so nice. This is a perfect, like, area if you, you know, want to get a run in around the lake. There's all types of people, like, running walking their dogs. It's a Saturday too, so a lot of people are out and it's a nice day, like I said, so a lot of people are out. There's the flea market, the Lakeshore one, I think it's called, right next to the uh, Rico Rico spot, the little Mexican spot that I ate at. Always like tons of cool things to do. Like if you're ever in Oakland and you just kind of don't know what to do, um, just come to the lake, just come to Lake Mary. It's just a nice free activity to do. It seems like you guys like my little Bay Area adventures um, in the vlogs. So I'm trying to like show you guys more places around the Bay. Oh, it's getting hot. Oh, look at him planting up here. Let me show y'all, I'm all nosy. Look at him planting. That seems so relaxing. And he has a view of the uh, lake, just listening to music, doing his plants. Oh, what a vibe. I got those glasses off Amazon then. They're supposed to be the eclipse today, so we we're trying to see it at our peak time, but I don't know if I'm gonna catch it. It's hard but because it's sunny. Yeah, we need those glasses. Okay, okay. This is what I'm going through to try to see this eclipse. <laughs> Camera can hit it. I know, I don't think it'll be able to see it whatsoever. All right, maybe you put the shades of, over your camera. Over oh, the camera. <laughs> can't even see what I'm recording. <laughs> I think it's like only so many years. But why do I feel like we like had one not too long ago? Like, is it we did that I rare? We did last time. Yeah. But it was uh, some, some years ago. So I guess <laughs> at 12 is when it's gonna fully like go over it, right? Oh, because it's kind of it like it kind of looks like it is now. It's though. like barely though. I thought it was supposed to like completely circle Cover, it. Yeah. yeah. Interesante. Now that I just blinded myself. Jeez. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Hi, morning. Makaya. Try. 
This shit come easy when I'm with my slimes Yeah, pop a bean, keep my system clean Been drinking water, be like kerosene Caught you busting the move I'm just sauce like and stupid Love this high, don't Cupid I'm with my dogs, yeah, we grooving Four on the floor, that's a drug I'm abusing show you the grass is green or whatever it is Your feet on back at one of my favorite libraries over here. So I'm just gonna take today as an editing day and just get some stuff done. Since it's super rainy and gloomy, I just feel like what better day than to have a nice editing day. I'm just gonna go to a coffee shop, but I'm gonna just keep it local and go to the library. I don't wanna have to deal with like parking and finding a spot if it's too busy, you know, to sit down and like have my laptop at. So I'm just gonna play it safe and go over to my local library, have a vibe, you know? <laughs> finished up at the library. Now I'm starting to get hungry. I did bring like a granola bar in there and I just sipped on some Olipop. I'm about to go try to find somewhere to eat. Loki kind of craving the, uh, that sushi spot that I've been to. I never thought I would hear the day where those words came out of my mouth <laughs> as somebody that was a sushi hater, but I'm kind of in the mood for it now, so. Maybe I'll end up there, or maybe I'll just go home and just eat whatever is in the house. Okay, not to get all astrological, whatever. Um, also, this foundation, yes, I know, it's not a match. I was trying some things, but we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. But I just saw this like post, you know those cute little like Zodiac meme pages and stuff like that, that all be taking stuff from each other and just slapping their sign on it and it's all the same like, it's all the same content. It'd basically be like, insert sign here. It'll be like, insert Aries does this, or Libra does this, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But anyways, I just saw a, a, a like post from one of those pages that were a Sagittarius one, which if you don't know, that's what I am. So I figured, let me just share with you guys because I it had me cracking up because of how just accurate it was. I know that's probably a bit crooked, but it says once the Sagittarius gets a Sagittarian, just go ahead and call the police. Sagittarius are the most cold-hearted signs, which I have been told before by somebody that I was talking to that <laughs> a long time ago that because uh, he we were like talking about signs and he was reading mine. Um, and he was like, oh my gosh, yeah, you are cold-hearted. Like, you just be, you, you're cold, like, you're hard to crack. I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't know that I was like, I, I was like, no, I'm not. But I guess, apparently, that's true. Continuing. It's not for no reason, though. They are truly sweethearts until you hurt them. They tend to take loyalty and consistency very serious. They're stingy with their time, so if you get it, cherish it. Amen. They open up to you. They truly trust you. They're always looking out for people just to be just to be betrayed because that's what they're used to. <laughs> they're always 10 steps ahead of your next move. They're only like this because they love so hard and feel things so deeply. When they get hurt, you'll get a different side of them. They get real quiet when pissed. Warning. <laughs> They let oh my gosh, this is the one. They let it <laughs> they let it build up and then explode when they've had enough 
and it's an ugly sight. Most definitely the definition of true empath. Never take their energy for granted. Woo! That's just, it literally just sums it up. I don't know, I just resonated so much with that. My camera keeps coming out, but yeah. The, the point about us like letting stuff build up and then like exploding, I feel like that's why Sagittarius's get a bad rep from people when they're like, they're crazy. They're like, oh, I don't like Sagittarius. They're like, all the, all the bad things that people say about us, it's literally because you guys pushed us to that point. Well, I'm gonna just speak for myself. I'm not gonna speak on behalf of everybody. I think when you like let little things keep sliding and most of the times it's because it's like you always give the benefit of the doubt and you let little things keep sliding and they and it's i think people misinterpret that as like us being like pushovers or like you could just get away or they're getting away with things and their mistake <laughs> because literally we're not dumb like it's all we may let things roll off a little bit easier than some other signs but we're always like taking mental note of that and then eventually it's like no we've had enough and once we're done we are done you do not want to see what they're talking about with the other side of them you do not want to see that side there's only a select few people that are able to like see that side and if you have it's because like you're close but that's just that's just some insight for you if you are especially in like the the dating sense too like if you're gonna be trying to date a Sagittarius please do not take their time for granted their energy for granted because we're such like free spirits and we we don't we're pretty we're like very independent and we like our own alone time we value our time if we're allowing you in our space and we're giving you that energy you better be grateful <laughs> i think that's like one of the biggest misconceptions about us is that like we're closed off shy we're cold-hearted and it's really just like a protective a self like protection self-preservation tactic we don't just like open up to anybody right off the bat the people that we give our time to is very selective that's my two cents on it hopefully i just thought it was funny but hopefully if you are dating a sagittarius or involved with somebody that's a sagittarius whether that's like a friend or a family member or whatever it may be hopefully that gives you a little insight of like where we're coming from it goes without saying i don't need to have like a whole disclaimer every individual is going to be different so i know sagittarius that are completely different from one another especially them, them december sagittarius they are something else i'm a november sagittarius but yeah i just thought that was hilarious and maybe that gives you a better understanding um because it pretty much like hit it right on the nose yeah let me know what your sign is in the comments and let me know how you perceive Sagittarius like your experience with them how you view them because I'm curious to see like what you guys think about us yeah I would say that's a pretty pretty accurate description and a lot of these little pages like I said are super like recycled material so not a lot of them are like they're either recycled or they're just so like cliche like with this type of stuff in the memes and stuff but yeah that's my little spiel um good luck to you <laughs> if you're dating a sagittarius um and peace be with you <laughs> So I'm trying our Indian sushi spot. I was gonna go to Demi Typhon, but for wait, it's too long. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you.